Hi everyone and welcome back to another App Tutor video. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can easily change the default notification sound on your iPhone. So if you get a notification on your iPhone, but you're tired of that same old sound that plays, then I'm going to show you where you can change this in the iPhone settings. And you will also be able to select a custom sound, which you can create in just a couple of minutes. Now, in order to be able to change the default notification sound or default alert sound, you want to open the settings on your iPhone and then hop over to the general section. Once here, you'll want to find the software update option and open it. This feature is available on iPhones, which run iOS 17.2 and later. But at the time of recording this video, I suppose that you have iOS 18 or later since that's the newest software update. And if you do, you'll want to go back a couple of pages until you get to the main settings page. Once you're here, you'll want to scroll down a little bit until you see this Sounds and Haptics option. You should then see this Default Alerts button, which should be right under the Calendar and Reminder Alerts. So just click on this, and then you'll be able to select any sound from this list to be your default sound when you get a notification. We can select any sound from this list, and these are the default iPhone sounds which you can select. But what if you want to create a custom notification sound and use that every time you get a notification on your iPhone? You just have to create that custom sound, and then you'll be able to select it from this Default Alerts page. And I have a full in-depth tutorial on how you can create a custom sound, whether that's a custom ringtone or a custom alert tone, which you can use for the notifications. And I'm going to leave that video link in the description of this video, as well as the pinned comments down below. So just check that video out. It will only take you a couple of minutes to create a custom tone for free, and you can then set that as the default notification sound on your iPhone. Just make sure that you're running at least iOS 17.2 and later, and you'll have the default alerts section, and you'll be able to change your default notification sounds. If this video helped you out, go check my other tutorials on the channel for more tips and tricks, and I'll see you in the next video.